Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make an aquarium for all of your city building needs. And just to clarify, this is an aquarium where you would purchase fish, not an aquarium where you would exactly like come and see really, really cool different kinds of fish and sharks and all sorts of aquatic wildlife. Although we do have a nice little collection around the store. If you enjoy this tutorial, please do remember to hit that like button as it helps me and the channel out very, very much. And if you would like to really help me out, please watch as much of the video as you possibly can as that really helps out a lot as well. Isn't that right, Michelangelo? Absolute dead silence. Let's get this thing started. To make your aquarium, you will need an 18 by 25 block area, as represented by the white concrete grid on the ground, which you are more than welcome to make and encouraged to make if you are planning out a city. It can only help you. Here are all of the materials that you will need to make your aquarium. Please do make sure that you have access to all those materials and enough of them as well. Okay, so now that we have all of our stuff, we can get started. If you've made the grid, come all the way to the front right hand corner of it and count backwards from this corner one two begin by placing four blue concrete on top of each other one two three four extend left by seven one two three four five six seven extend down to the ground and then continue extending left by ten 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Join all the way down to the ground like this, and this is what we should have. We now have to do a couple of things. Number one, we want to extend the very first row that we started off by placing. We want to extend it up by three. One, two, three. We also want to extend this area up as well, basically the other part of the road that we connected down to the ground one two three and then we can join it to the right side like this then place white concrete behind the empty space that we have created by making this area so this is going to be a sign we can actually make the sign right now so the sign is a little fish it's just a, a little goldfish who doesn't love goldfish so on the left side of the sign, we want to start one row inwards and we want to place an upside down and a regular, what is this specifically, smooth red sandstone stairs. We then want to place smooth red sandstone to the right of this and then the equivalent but opposite, so an upside down and a regular red sand, smooth red sandstone stairs, that's difficult to say. And then on the end of this, we want to place like a regular sideways facing stair with an upside down stair above it. And there you go, you've got a little fish. Now, it's up to you whether you want to turn this into a clownfish, aka Nemo. It sort of looks like Nemo if you do this. And if you want to give it an eye, then I would recommend polished blackstone button. I'd actually prefer it if the eye would say here, but you can't place it in front of stairs, unfortunately. So it's kind of up to you. You've got a few different variations. You could leave it orange. You could add the eye. You can turn it into a clownfish and then add the eye. It's up to you what you want to do. I'm going to mess about. I'm going to, I'm going to experiment with that, and I'm going to see if I like it. Okay, next step. I kind of want to make the entrance area. So, the entrance area, we want to place a row of white concrete extending inwards diagonally from the two outward rows of blue concrete, like this. We then want to place two inward extended diagonally rows of does does that make sense grammatically we want to place two rows of blue concrete basically we want to place two rows of blue concrete that are doing the same thing as the white concrete but one step further one row inwards and one row inwards so this is where the actual entrance will be i'm going to make the floor quartz brick so i'm going to destroy in between the rows of blue concrete place doors there and then i'm going to place some black glass above Perfect, you can see exactly how the entrance is going to look. So, when it comes to this left side here, it's a little bit different. So, I want to add a row of white concrete behind the row of blue that we have on the right, kind of like this separating row. 
and then I want to add a row of blue concrete behind the white. We're then going to extend a row of blue all the way over to the left where we would connect to the wall here. So, I mean, you can extend it all the way over to the left and connect forwards if you like. But we want to then place, we want to divide this area. So the way that we want to do it is in front of the top half of the row of blue that we've just made, we want to place one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Smooth quartz slabs extending inwards from both sides. And then divide the area with a row of white concrete extending up the middle. To which you can then place a row of blue concrete behind if you like. Just like this. And this is pretty much the window structure. So the windows, you can either fill them in with glass pane or glass block. I'm using glass block because that's what I've got. Plus, it, it doesn't matter too much, but, you know, it, it might matter to you, perhaps. So now that we have done that, we have to make the other sign area. So we have our clownfish. We shall call him Captain Nemo. But we want to have a actual, literal, written sign. So, we take the left side of the picture sign, and we extend it backwards two rows. One, two, using the blue concrete. We then take the top of this, extend it to the left, and we join it down to where it would join down into the wall, if that makes sense. So you can see you're just adding... Uh, you're just turning into a rectangle, essentially, that is just two rows backwards from the original sign. You can then fill this sign, this part in using white concrete like this. And then we should probably add walls to this thing because it'll actually get a bit easier. So the walls, I'm pretty much just making them blue concrete because I imagine this shop myself kind of like somewhere in the middle of like a town center or a city or something. I don't imagine this kind of like off by itself somewhere, but feel free to make the sides of this a little bit more interesting if you have a different vision for it. So basically we're going to take the right side and we're going to extend it backwards by 21 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Now you see that's worrying because I think I, I feel as though that it should have come back to here. So hang on, let's let's see. As long as this is twenty one rows, this is absolutely fine. But let's let's make sure that it's <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. Okay, no problem. We've just got this extra row back here, I guess. The grid is probably wrong. I'm pretty sure that the measurements are correct, but the grid may be wrong. Anyway, we want to extend this row across the back of the build, and we want to join it to the front. Just like this. And we want to make the sides of the build as high as the rest of the build, pretty much. So um, we'll focus on this left side first of all. We'll make it nice and tall. We'll make it as high as the... Because the, the top of the build is all nice and even now. It wasn't previously until we added this little extra bit. We want to add an extra row of blue concrete here as well. We'll want to fill this in with blue concrete. I mean, we'll sort the interior out when we get there, but... Um, for the rest of it, we do just want to make these walls. I actually kind of want to add like a side door in as well. Just actually, it doesn't even make sense to add a side door. In the original design of this, I added a side door to the back right side, which only makes sense if you can actually get out of the building. So it it compl it's kind of like context based. So like the door would be here right and ju just in the back right corner so for some reason i added a door i don't even quite know why it um is it's not necessary really but i mean i guess it it does make sense it again it completely depends upon how your city setup is or where you're putting this i mean you're not even necessarily putting this in a city setting i mean you can put it where you want but we'll discuss that when we get there actually that might be a little bit better so this is what we're looking at so far 
I'm pretty happy with this. So the next thing that we're going to do is whilst we have the material, I think that we're going to rip up the entire floor of the inside because the entire inside of this is almost entirely used. Like there's not really like a dead space inside here. It's almost all entirely like fish and plants. I've decided to include a lot of plants as well because I've some of the nicest things or some of the or what I would consider the nicest things to come out of the uh, the ocean update for Minecraft is I really love all of the coral. Like the fish are really cool, you know, dolphins, turtles, all of that. But although dolphins aren't fish, they are that. Regardless, anyway. The coolest thing, I think, to come out of the update Aquatic, I really like all of the corals, the coral reefs and stuff. Whilst, of course, are comprised of, you know, the fish and what have you. But, I really, really like the plants, and I think it's really cool. I don't know what, I, maybe I've just got a fascination with plants, who knows. But, I've ripped up the entire floor, and I am using, specifically, <clears throat> quartz bricks. That's much easier to say than smooth red sandstone stairs. Just simply... Quartz bricks. I like it. So that's what we're going to be using for the floor. Um, we want to keep it, because it's sort of dark, because we've used blue concrete, blue concrete is quite a dark material, because we've done that, I want to keep the scheme kind of like blue and white. So hence why we're using the bricks, plus it's clean, plus it's got a texture to it. Plus, I like it quite quite a lot. I was going to say, plus I like it quite much. And then we're getting into grammar problems once again. So, we are going to just finish uh, this. And that is perfect. So, I am a little bit torn as to what we should do next. Because we've got a couple of options. Whilst we have all of our blue concrete and such, it may be better to lay out the inside a little bit more. So... We, we've got our blue concrete, let's do it. Around the door frame, basically, I want to turn around the door frame and such, I want to make it a smooth wall. So whatever you've got to do, whatever blue concrete you have to add to make that a nice, smooth, regular looking wall, do it. So I'm also going to add, I think I'm going to make the top of the build white concrete, by the way. So just to show you where the roof line is going to be, it's pretty much just going to be here. Just like this. We have four rows of our uh, aquarium. So the actual ceiling is here. This is where the ceiling is. I've not 100% decided whether the ceiling is going to be light grey or white concrete, but this is the amount of space that we have, so feel free to count it out. One, two, three, four, and then this fifth row here is going to be ceiling, and the sixth row will be roof. But, I want to divide this area up a little bit, so I want you to take a look at the right side of our aquarium. And I want you to leave a gap of three. One, two, three. Mark out that fourth block with a blue concrete. One, two, three, blue concrete. One, two, three, blue concrete. Now, this blue concrete in particular is going to travel all the way across the aquarium. And it's going to hit this wall. I want to make a solid blue concrete wall out of, um, out of this long row here. You see, these are going to be... Uh, Display cases, I suppose, might be the best term for it. Little tanks, basically. So, I want you to extend these blue concretes forwards, and then I want you to make the blue concretes as high as the uh, as the rest of the wall. So, again, about four rows high, really. And not about, literally four rows high. So, I don't know why I said about. Anyway, there is a doorway at the end. So, if you can imagine that these are tanks, there is a doorway at the end here. It's a double door. It's it, it should look exactly like this, basically. So, for the... And that's going to be a little bit separate. That's going to have uh, a load more plants and stuff. And it's even going to have a turtle. So, let's start from the opposite corner, because that, that, that's a, a tank area. So, this opposite corner here, the front left-hand corner of the build, I want to leave a gap of one, two, three, four, leave a gap of four, and then a row of blue concrete. This blue concrete is as high as the rest of the other rows of blue concrete, and I want to take the bottom of this and extend it forwards by four, 
one, two, three, four, and then left by one, two, three. So this is going to be where you would pay for your fish if you plan on paying. If you just don't want to, maybe you'll just sneak out that back door instead, you know, kind of go on a little heist. But from the row of blue concrete, we want to leave a gap of two and then place another vertical row of blue concrete. On then, okay, this this is where it gets tricky trying to preserve all of the materials that we've got. But basically, from this blue concrete here, we want to leave a gap of one, two, three, four. And then we want to extend towards this back wall and place another row of four blue concrete like this. And then leave a gap of two going right and then place another row of blue concrete. And there we go. We've kind of laid out like where all of the tanks are going to go in the front of the store. So let's focus now on the back of the store. So let's come into the back now. And in the back here, we are first of all, I think that we're going to add a white door frame. Now I'm, I'm not quite sure why we're doing this, but it is, it is in the plans. I mean, we should we should probably just do it, I guess. So basically, fr from this door frame here, I just want to add like a row of white concrete around it for some reason. There's got to be a reason. I'm, I'm sure that there's a reason. So we'll add the row of white concrete around it. And then we want to have... Actually, you know what? Let's skip that. Let's not do that. We, do, we don't need it. I don't, know, I don't know why it's in there. So... From this blue concrete here, I want you to place a row of two, two blue concrete extending outwards. And then we're going to have another series of... Uh, we're going to have another series of tanks, but these are more so for plants. So we'll leave a gap of two, blue concrete. Gap of two, blue concrete. Gap of two, blue concrete. And we want the same on the opposite wall. So if you want to copy it, two concrete, two concrete. Leave that gap of two, two concrete, two concrete. And these want to be even so you can see how this is spaced out that is absolutely perfect so these rows of blue concrete of course want to be as high as the other rows of blue concrete they want to be four rows high in total coming up to the top of the walls here here by the way this the end part here this is a large tank uh we're going to put a turtle in it so there we go. We've got all of these tanks planned out. There's even going to be a tank here. Let me make sure it doesn't require any blue concrete. It does. So basically just next to the door here, one, two blue concretes extending outwards and then just like this. I mean, no, there's not enough room for a turtle. That would be absolutely cruel. Uh, unless, I mean, this doesn't even have to be a tank, but we, we will probably make it one. And yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with this. So, ah. <sighs> I think we're going to make the ceiling white concrete, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just do it. If you want it to be light grey for a specific reason, then that is just fine. Also, I'm thinking, actually, it might be easier for us to not do the... It might be easy for us not to have the roof in just yet. So we'll, we'll leave it until we've actually placed all the fish. It might be a little bit easier. But what I do want to do is I want to put a pin in the outside... I want to finish it, and then we can focus on the inside entirely. So l let's just get, let's bite the bullet. Let's get rid of all these materials, and let's grab what I think we're going to need to finish off the outside. So smooth stone, lanterns, looms, white banners, white dye, orange dye, and then we'll just leave the other materials alone for a, for a second. So I just want to make a little bit of a pavement, a footpath outside. It's just going to be a couple of rows of smooth stone. Um, this will just integrate it into the city. Um, not not necessary. You don't need to do this. Um, just I I whatever. Yeah, let's put that back. So whatever you have to do to make this fit into the environment that you're placing it in, do that. So for me, that's just a couple of rows of footpath because all of my builds just have a little bit of footpath. But you see, like in in reality, like if I were making this a full blown city, if I were joining all these builds together. The comic book store, you see, would literally join 
next to this. Unless there was a road in the way, but like, you know, in, in theory, like the comic book store would just join seamlessly into the aquarium. And which would seamlessly join into the, well, maybe not the karate studio, but, you know, maybe one of the other builds, maybe the ice cream parlor. You know, like, not all of these builds are just, like, standalone. A lot of them would be joined together, kind of like in, kind of like a really cool mosaic. But anyway, regardless, a couple of lanterns just hanging by the door, and now it's time for us to do the sign. My least favourite part, so throw a loom on the ground, crack it open, probably get rid of these materials here. Move these over, accidentally split those in half, that is lovely. Okay, so, white banner in the loom. First letter is going to be A, we need some orange dye. So, horizontal row of orange across the top, vertical row of orange on the right, the left, straight through the middle, boom. We have A. The next letter is going to be Q. This is a little bit more difficult. Vertical row of orange on the left. Grab that, throw that in. Throw the orange dye out, put the white in. Make the bottom half of the letter white. Grab that, throw that in. Throw the white dye out. Throw the orange in. Um, throw, place a middle row. A row of orange straight through the middle. Grab that, throw that in. Vertical row of orange of the right side. Horizontal row of orange along the top, Q. I don't actually make the letter Q so much. It actually looks a little bit weird to me because I don't make it very often. So the next letter is going to be U. So that's a brand new white banner in there. And we're going to have a horizontal row across the bottom. Vertical row on the right. Vertical row on the left, U. Next would be another A, however... We've already already got one, so A. We then have to make R. So, vertical row on the left side of the banner. Horizontal row across the top. Diagonal row, top left corner to bottom right corner. We have R. The next letter, my favourite one to make, is I. So, I is a vertical row of orange straight up the middle. To which we would then need U. So then we're grabbing the white banner. We're throwing it back in there. Because we already have a U. And we're going to make M. So, so we start off with the triangle at the top of the banner. Grab that. Throw that out. Throw the orange dye in. Throw white in. We then want to have the loads of little triangles at the top of the, uh, at the, top of the banner. Grab that. Throw that back in. Throw the white dye out. Throw the orange dye in. We then want to have a vertical row of orange on the right, a vertical row of orange on the left, and boom, we have a quirum, which is perfect because we can actually make aquarium from these letters. So, we have our white sign, A, Q, U, A, R, I, U, M. That is absolutely perfect. However, one thing that isn't perfect is we want to have a row of blue concrete on the right side here so that it fits in. So, A-Q-U-A-R-I-U-M and then make that last row of white that we have on the right side there blue and then that's perfect. And then it all fits together and that is pretty much the outside of your aquarium, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very happy with it. I think it looks really cool. Now that we've done that, we can fully commit to building the inside, which is probably the most fun because it's it's a nice little bit of decoration. It's sort of fun getting the, getting the inside up and running. So let's head inside and figure out what materials we are going to need to progress. So we'll just hop on into here and First of all, we are definitely going to need light grey concrete, sand, glass. We'll be needing a little bit of grey glazed terracotta. We will certainly be needing some buttons. And then we'll also need spruce trap doors, uh, spruce wood slabs. We'll need some item frames, some flower parts. And let's, let's just start off with this. So... Some of these materials are for the till area, 
And this till area here, we're going to have a couple of shelves. So the first shelf is at the bottom. It's made out of spruce wood slabs. We want to leave pretty much like a gap and a half and then we want to place another row of spruce wood slabs just extending across like this i'm going to place flower pots on the left side of the shelves and item frames to the right this is basically just going to be like fish food and such you can even decorate the area by placing a couple of item frames just strewn about on the kind of like desk space and i'm also going to make some shelving areas to the left and right of this tank. This is a tank, by the way. So if you like, you can join at a right angle the two outward rows of blue concrete like this. You can add some gray glazed terracotta to the back of the tank, just to make it a little bit more interesting. If you want, feel free to use a brighter uh, glazed terracotta to make it stand out a little bit more. We're gonna add sand to the bottom buttons to the outside like this perfect and actually we can even add glass to the tank because we don't have the ceiling it's actually going to be quite easy to make all of the tanks so i think i'm going to leave the ceiling out for most of this and we'll probably finish it later so this is quite a large tank uh, we're going to place spruce trap doors here and here, kind of in the same pattern as the shelves, and the equivalent on this side as well. Now, in Java, you can place flower pots on trapdoors. Can you on bedrock? You cannot. So, if you're on Java, I would prefer to use trapdoors. If you're on bedrock, like I am, sadly, I'm gonna have to swap over, then you can, you'll, you'll just have to use the spruce. So, I'm going to fill these, with flower pots, feel free to do something else, but um, these are all go just going to be plants. So basically, these are going to be filled with different kinds of saplings that um, one would put in an aquarium. It just seems to make sense. It, it, it definitely goes. You'll see when we get there. So what about these tanks that we have on the right side of the build? Well, I want to have light grey concrete on the outer part of the tank, sand on the inside part, and I want to have buttons on the outside of the light gray and then i'm going to add two rows of glass one and then this is going to be two like this and then later on we'll be adding some stairs as well so we'll just leave it like that because we're not quite ready to fill the tanks up um, we have a couple more tanks but these are of a different variety where we have the blue concrete areas in between these three tanks, I want you to leave a gap of two. So one, two. I do believe it's two. Let me let me make sure actually. So I, I don't want to get this wrong. Actually, okay. So it's a gap of three. So actually, yeah, on on this third row here, I think this will be fine. I want you to place a two by two square of sand. And then I want you to do the same coming out from this blue concrete here. So a gap of one, two, and then on this third block, a two by two square of sand. And I'm going to place spruce trap doors around these. And it's just going to... I'm actually considering moving it another row backwards because it'll actually take up a little bit more of the space. So yeah, let, let's, let's shift it an additional row backwards and I think that it'll actually work out a little bit better. It'll seem a little bit less crowded because there's there's not really because it's kind of like an open space here just in front of the till area um i think i'd prefer for this just to be a little bit closer yeah definitely so these are going to have just plants as i mentioned and um we'll sort that out when oh we can actually do a little bit more of it um I don't think we need the spruce trap doors again, so I'm going to grab the glass pane, and I want to just place glass pane on the... This might look a little bit weird, but I want to place glass pane kind of like around the... How does it look best? Yeah, kind of like around the outside of the top of this. Like, in an ideal world, it'd be really cool if the glass pane, like, sat on top of the spruce trap doors. But, I mean, we can settle for, we can settle for this. And that's just going to have water contained and, as I said, plants. So, we can have another display case. And I quite like it as well. Like, I think it's quite a, quite a cool little design. Um, so, here... 
just wants to go all the way around, just like this. I'm trying to be very careful. Oh, I don't think we can actually. Oh, that's okay. You don't have to. You don't have to be able to walk around. That's grammar again, isn't it? You don't have to have the capability of walking around this corner here. It it, it doesn't quite matter. So. Honestly, this is kind of like how the front of the store is laid out. I'm, I'm actually very, very happy with this. I think this uh, this looks pretty good as is. So we're going to move into the back and we're going to start work back here. So as I mentioned, th this could be a large tank or you could use it for different sorts. Like you could have like an empty tank or a couple of empty tanks that are on sale. Like I'm going to have an empty tank back here, but... Um, uh, let's just use it as quite a large tank. It's, well, a little bit larger than some of the others. At least it feels that way. It's actually not bigger, is it? I mean, you could turn it into a bigger tank, though, if you wanted to. Like, you could turn it into, like, a corner tank, like this, if you wanted. And then it gives the appearance of being bigger, even though it's not really bigger. So, uh, a couple of rows of glass on top of a row of light grey. That works perfectly. Um, in this corner here, I, th I think that we're just going to leave this as kind of like a side entrance, if need be. If not, if, by the way, if you don't want that to be a side entrance, an alternative would be to extend the tank, make it bigger, and just put a load of fish in there. So, like, you know, it, it depends which way you want to do it. You could just have, like I just said, you could just have a larger tank, and that'd, uh, that'd be cool. Um, especially if you don't want the side entrance. So we'll we'll go upon the assumption that a side entrance is pointless and we'll fill that in a little bit later. The only thing is that we can't really place buttons around the base of this because of the corner. So that's unfortunate, but it, it, it doesn't really matter. Maybe we'll place stairs underneath this instead. Maybe we'll do that, like place some upside down stairs. But anyway, for all of the other tanks, we pretty much want to place the light grey concrete across the bottom and then sand in the middle or yeah i guess it is in the middle between the wall and the light gray concrete the only difference being when we get to this large tank here at the end so we're going to want to have sand for most of it so like the left four rows but then on this right side we're actually going to dig out the uh, quartz brick and we're going to add sand inside of it and that is going to be a little pool for Mr. Turtle, or Mrs. Turtle. I like to think Mrs. Turtle, actually, because I think that we're going to place some eggs in there, but that's what we want to have there. That wants to be entirely glass. Um, the rest of these little tanks are just going to be two by two squares of glass, and then we're going to place these stone buttons on the outside. And then we're rapidly approaching the point where um, we're going to have to grab some different materials. So, place this here. I mean, maybe maybe even make the bottom... Swap that out. Maybe even make the bottom of this blue? Or maybe a different colour? Or maybe we'll make it upside down stairs, kind of like over there. And maybe we'll add some lights underneath here to kind of like single it out because it's quite special to have a, have a pretty cool turtle in there. Um, maybe we'll make the corner of this tank, maybe we'll make it blue and then we'll have the upside downstairs. We'll see. We'll see how it all goes. But that is pretty much all of the, that's all of the tanks laid out. That's kind of like the, that's kind of like the inside of the store laid out. There's, there's not really too much more to add unless you want to have like lanterns kind of about the place, random item frames, but I don't, there's no need for that. Um, there's going to be a weighted pressure plate here just on the till um, and then maybe just we'll s stick a lantern on the corner maybe or I mean where, where else could we possibly place one there's not really a place for lanterns and such ladies and gentlemen so unless you wanted to place them between the tanks um, we'll, we'll see about that later on but now we're at the point where we is is kind of like time to fill all of these in so this is where the item list is a little bit like mm, it depends what you want to put in put in these tanks in particular like you don't have to follow the same pattern as me but feel free to do so if you like so let me just grab everything that i think that we're gonna need and then we can progress so i've come to the realization that we actually need loads of stuff like a lot of stuff so this is actually what we're going to be starting off with but we need more stuff than this so, okay, we are going to begin by finishing pretty much the rest of the shop, and then we're going to focus on the tanks. So, we're going to need smooth quartz stairs, iron shovel, 
uh, pumpkin seeds, melon seeds, any seeds will do, by the way, painting. Um, we need the, the white banners, which, I mean, we, we had already, but we, we didn't use them. Water buckets, oak saplings, spruce saplings, that's what we're going to start off with. So, it's actually quite simple. The stairs is going to be, this is going to be like a cash register. We're going to have a couple of iron shovels just on the cash register. This is basically just to clean out the tanks. The seeds are, well, they sort of look like fish food. So seeds are going in the item frames here and melon seeds in the bottom. And th this just kind of looks like, you know, the little food bottles that you would, you know, like the food flakes and stuff. So that's kind of like my thinking there. And then when it comes to all of these pots here on the left, and by the way, we are going to need the stairs again and the paintings and stuff. But get, since we're here, I'm going to grab all the saplings, birch, jungle, and acacia, dark oak dead bush, bamboo, and we're just going to fill up these parts. And as I mentioned already, like, I, I like the idea that we have loads of decorations for our fish tank. So, I mean, all sorts of synthetic and real plants that we can put in there, and that's, that's kind of what those are. Um, speaking of decoration as well, since, since we're just here, since we're right here, I want to grab the honeycomb block and seagrass, and I want to stick a honeycomb in the middle, seagrass on top. Maybe we can't do this without the water, so hang on. Hang on. We'll jump in the gun a little bit with some of this, but let's, let's, get, all the, let's get water in this tank. And then we should be able to place the seagrass. So, there we go. Perfect. And, of course, I'm sure that you guys know what that's a reference to. That's a, that's a little pineapple under the sea, a.k.a. Mr. Spongebob, you guys get the idea, and we'll fill that tank up a little bit later on, but whilst we do have the water, um, we might as well fill this up, so these are going to, this is going to have like lily pads in it, sea pickles, that sort of stuff, some of the cooler plants, um, these tanks are going to just have fish in them, I think that there are only three rows, yeah, we only, we only have two rows of, uh, of the fish tank, and this is, by the way, this is why we left the ceiling off, you can see how much easier it is to do these two tanks, and then we, when we get to this one, it's like, I can't get to it, how do I do it? So that's, that's why, um, we've left the ceiling off, and we'll do the roof a little bit later. Another material that we need, the white concrete. Um, so let's just get all of these filled up with water, um, let's also grab the smooth quartz stairs, and my idea was to place upside down um, smooth quartz stairs like this, wasn't it? Yeah, that, that, that looks fine. So, we're also gonna have to, I don't need the honeycomb block again. So, we've just gotta fill this wall in, because I, I think it's redundant to have an entrance there. I, I don't like that idea. And, uh, I mean, this could even be two tanks, by the way, if you wanted to. Like, all you'd have to do is, um, you know, this, pretty much. Like, if you wanted to have, uh, two tanks, but... Uh, that, that's completely up to you. It depends how you want to separate it, I mean, and then you'd be able to have additional... And then, and then, we would actually be able to decorate this tank like the other tanks. And then this one, I mean, I, I don't know what we'll put in it, but maybe we'll find something special. Anyway, I like that a little bit better, so we're just going to fill these with water. I'm sorry that I'm kind of, like, figuring some of this out on the fly, by the way, but that's kind of how it is. Like, if, um... If, if you're a builder and you like building stuff, like, you, you always find little improvements and little changes to make all of the time, or at least I do, like, it's not always, it's not always like I built this and it's perfect, it's like, oh no, I forgot this, oh, this looks bad this way! So, you know, it's, it, it's always a little bit of, there's always a little bit of change, but I've, I really like this room, by the way, like, in the back rooms of, like, I, I have a th I like I like aquariums and I like plants and all of that stuff like it's always where the coolest stuff is in the back for some reason like the front I mean this is pretty nice I really like this but in the back it's like do you want to see something really cool it's <laughs> you know that's that's why it's like back here but I'm gonna place um, I'll have some sea lanterns a little bit later on but I'll have the upside down stairs there for now. And what can we do with the materials that we have? So let's have a look. So, um, I'm, just to make the back room a little bit sketchier, by the way, I feel as though I'm going to put some white banners here. I don't know. I don't know why. It's almost as if there's, like, something illegal back here. It's like, hey, kid, do you want to see... Do you want to see a whale? <laughs> like, you know. But, no, it's, it's just, like, uh, different corals and stuff that we're going to have back there. But, um, we're going to have... Uh, we're going to grab the paintings, we're going to grab, um, probably seagrass again, lily pads, sea pickles, um, get rid of this stuff, 
and that might that that might actually do us for now a little bit but uh some light gray concrete would be good too so i want to decorate these walls a little bit as well so i just want to place some like paintings and i mean these can be interpreted as anything but i just like the just some different paintings on the wall so kind of like in the middle of this wall here would look good um a couple of one by ones so like here and here that looks just fine are they the same as the other side Yes, of course. You know, Minecraft is so funny sometimes. Like, sometimes it's impossible to get, like, the painting you want, and then it's, like, it's, it just throws out the same ones in the same order. Like, it's, Minecraft's a funny beast. Anyway, so I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with the layout now. Like I said, that the tanks are almost done. Um, let's fill these in. So I, I, I think that I might just do the same thing in both of these tanks. So I'm thinking, like, seagrass... Sea pickles, like this, because I really like how it looks. And then a couple of lily pads. No? Do you not want to? Oh, no. Okay, well, guess what? It works on Java. It works on Java to place lily pads. Is, is, is there something that we can do here? Is there something that we can do? If I place that in there, that is going to be a real problem. What if I, what if I do this? Hang on. What if I do, like, this? And then place water... Okay, and then place water here. Is this going? Is this going to be a real problem? Hang on. That's that's going to be a real issue. That's going to knock off all of the buttons. E yep, yep. This this turned out to be a real problem. I don't really. Oh no, they they didn't get to the buttons. Thank goodness. Hang on. No, no. We need the glass again. <laughs> Okay, guys, this might be, this might just be a Java decoration. It, you might, maybe it's just Java that you can place the lily pads how you'd like to place them. Hmm. Okay, then. Well, that is, unless, unless maybe you crouch and then you, can you place them on top of them? No, no, you can't. Fair enough. Never mind, then. We'll just settle with that. That's just fine. In Java, feel free to place a couple of lily pads on top, and it looks delightful. But in Bedrock, once again, we cannot do it. So, now that we've done that, we are going to grab the corals, and we are going to start filling up the back room with the different corals. Um, feel free, if, if you wanted to, you can add them to these display tanks and stuff, but I really like just the green. But, you know, it's, it's kind of up to you. And as you are going around, do feel free to chuck, like, a random coral or so. Um, I mean, you might want to, you know, do it a little bit differently. Um, but feel free to throw a random coral or so in some of the tanks. So, um, you, you might want to diversify the colours a little bit. I, I probably will. And I'd, I'd actually, in, not in all of the tanks. My bad. Okay, okay. I'm getting ahead of myself here. So, in the fish tanks... You might want to throw some different corals, just to, you know, just to brighten up the fish tanks, maybe even put a little bit of seagrass, maybe even a little bit of kelp in there would look cool as well. And you're probably going to want to diversify, so like, on this side here, like we have, we place like a seagrass in the middle, place it on the right side for this one, like chop and change the different kinds of positions for all of the corals and the kelps and stuff, we'll probably grab kelp a little bit later and alter some of these, but, um... I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, we can even place like a sea pickle in this one, or a, prob a dead bush probably would work, but uh, maybe even a few pickles. You know, maybe maybe lighten that up a little bit. But anyway, the point of this back room is that I wanted to load it up with the different corals. So we we can do it in order. We'll we'll start from this left side here, and I kind of wanted like fire coral. F what is it? Fire coral fan, and then just like fire coral. And I wanted like brain coral fan, brain coral. You guys get the idea. So the different colors of coral, but together. Like I mean, exactly as it would be in a shop, right? I mean that you'd you'd find them together. And I want the same thing. So we're just missing yellow. So horn coral and horn coral fan. And that can go here. And then we've got like two empty cases. So it's up to you whether you want to put more fish in there. Or alternatively, we do also have the option for actual coral blocks. So, you know, I mean, it, it's it's up to you. I mean, they're quite nice and colourful. So um, we'll, we'll place the horn coral and the horn coral fan in there. And then, as I said, like, you can have... 
Well, I mean, we could even... Does this look stupid? I don't know if that looks a little bit dumb, to be quite honest. It might be better if we just put fish in there. Or if you did want to, like, you could put um, actual, like, kelp in there. And then seagrass. I, it depends what you want to fill them up with. I'm, I'm sorry, I keep repeating myself, but it honestly just sort of depends, like, what you think looks good. Like, it's completely up to you. Like, I, I like this room kind of, like, being mostly plants. I think it's kind of cool, but you might think differently. So, um, speaking of diversifying a little bit, maybe we'll get rid of, like, the seagrass. We'll put kelp in there, and maybe we'll also do the same thing for this. We'll just put a little bit of kelp in there. And that's looking pretty good. I mean, we could even have... Actually, I just like that being a pineapple. So I'm actually quite happy with that. So wh what do we have to grab next? So obviously, we've we've got all of... All of these materials have kind of like been exhausted. The only thing that we're going to be needing from this batch is... We'll be needing the... I, I just got rid of it. But we'll be needing... Let, let me make sure that we know what we need for this next part. Let me grab it and then I'll, I'll be back in a second. Okay, I think I've figured it out. Now, I'm not saying that we won't need more stuff because you know me. I, I sometimes a little bit forgetful, but I think to finish this off, we will need smooth quartz stairs, sea lanterns, white concrete, stone stairs, stone slabs, sea turtle eggs, spawn sea turtle eggs, and then pretty much every bucket of fish that... We that you can get pretty much tropical uh, puffer fish, and then what's that? Salmon and cod. So perfect. Let's start this off by finishing the sea turtle enclosure. So I want Miss Sea Turtle, Miss, if you will, Miss Sea Turtle, to have a nice little kind of like chill out spot. So um, I want Miss Sea Turtle to let me just place this here. So basically, kind of like I want to create kind of like a little cave. For her to chill out in. So, I... Basically, what this cave is supposed to be, and I'm failing miserably. Like, I wanted to show it you before I explained it. But I wanted to have just, like, a, cut, a, a few rows of stone on top of each other. And then, like, an upside-down stone here. And then, Ms. Sea Turtle can kind of, like, just chill out in there if she likes. Or in her pool. It likes to hang out in the pool. And then, maybe we can place, like, a couple of turtle legs as decoration i mean feel free to add some other stuff inside here as well but it's it's going to be getting a little bit cramped and there we go we have our little sea turtle tank and she likes to chill out in there and look at you menacingly from inside of the glass so for the rest of these um these are all basically full except for this tank here so if you wanted to you can just place maybe a couple of tropical fish because it's it's actually quite a large tank that would be that that looks just great and let's let's put away the stone stairs and the stone slab let's grab cod and salmon and we can i mean we could probably do it like this we can have like cod is that right yeah cod salmon and then we can place another tropical fish here and then in this tank i want to have a puffer fish so you can have one or two but i'm i'm quite happy with one we don't have to have multiples in there and that's pretty much it. Like, that's all of the tanks filled up. We have every single variety of fish. Um, we even have... Uh, <laughs> we even have a sea turtle. We've got all of the plants. I'm really happy with it. So, th the finishing move to this is going to be to add sea lanterns to the top of all of these tanks here. Like this. So, here and here. And I'm realizing there has to be, like, a... Um, there we go, like a block in the middle of here. And then I want to place smooth quartz stairs on top. Now, equally so, if you don't like the smooth quartz stairs, you can just add another row of um, another row of light grey concrete if you wanted to. But I quite like that. Um, I mean, let, let's see. Like, uh, Let's see which you prefer. Like, if you have a look at it, would you prefer the light grey? I think I'd prefer the light grey, <laughs> actually, as I look at it. I think I'd prefer the light grey rather than the stairs. But you can have any. I mean, I, some of you guys out there might be like, oh, but it, it looks so much better this way. But um, maybe we'll keep that tank different. But yeah, I, I quite like that as it is. I think that, that looks pretty cool. But yeah, um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And then we can come here. And that, then I guess I can. We, we'll, we'll just place light grey at the top of these tanks too. 
just like this. Um, we have to do the ceiling, so that is going to be simply just um, white concrete. Oh, sea lanterns, of course, above here. How could I forget that? So, sea lanterns above all of these tanks here. Um, we can even have sea lanterns above this tank too, but we'll just have to build it into the ceiling. And I'm actually wondering how dark it's going to be. Like, obviously, some of these sea lanterns are going to be dampened by the fact that they're kind of, like, hidden in and around blocks. But I don't think of aquariums as particularly, like, insanely bright shops, stores, buildings anyway. Like, they're, they're kind of dark-ish. And then the lights are inside of the tanks, usually. And that is what allows you to actually, like, see the fish a little bit better. Or at least that's that's kind of like what I'm thinking. So we'll, we'll, we'll get inside and we'll see how it looks. But I want to create a double... Like, I want to place the ceiling... The, yeah, the ceiling. I'm getting confused here. The ceiling, and then I want to place the roof on top of the ceiling. So basically just two entire rows of white concrete. This seems to be taking a long time. But two entire rows of white concrete just like this. And then I'll be pretty happy. So I think that, that I think we're actually going to be done. I think that we're actually going to be done after this. So I reckon I might just fill this in and then I'll get the place cleaned up and then and then we'll kind of be in the both we'll be in the same position like we'll both be done and then we can kind of like tour it together. But I think it's going to be bright enough. I want to say it's going to be bright enough. We'll find out together in just a moment. So ladies and gentlemen, we have 100% fully completed the aquarium. I'm going to clean up and then we're going to take a look. So this is what your aquarium should look like once it has been 100% fully completed. I do hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I'm realizing that the walls are very, very bare. There's not much detail, but I don't think that that'd be possible with everything that we've got going on inside. And speaking of inside, I'm pretty excited to see this for the first time. I think that this is going to look really, really cool. Yes, this is perfect. I love this. Ah, oh, I'm so happy with how this looks. This is awesome. I mean, maybe it could stand to be a little bit brighter, perhaps, but I'm actually really, really happy. Like, all of the fish are highlighted. I'm, I'm very happy with this. If you guys have enjoyed this tutorial, please do remember to hit that like button. It really helps me the channel out very, very much. So cute. If you are new around here, please do consider subscribing and clicking that little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. And if you would like to make anything else by me, check out the card system, the description below, and the top of the comment section for more. You'll be able to find the City Builds playlist. Hello, Michelangelo. You'll be able to find the City Builds playlist, which will have so many different tutorials in there for you to make. Like, I don't think you'd be able to keep up with it. It's always getting updated. It, I, I think that you'd be able to build a pretty awesome city from what you may find in there. But thank you so much for watching, everybody. I love you all very much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.